Enyimba in blue. And of course, the shooting stars in white over uh, light blue. And so that is the setting here this afternoon for these two teams. You can see, you know, the young lads and of course, uh, some stars to their side. The shooting stars has come here with uh, this afternoon. And we hope uh, uh, for them to get it right. Enyimba International have not given shooting stars anything to cheer about whenever they come calling here. And Abba Enyimba has all, always uh, sent them back empty-handed and so uh, the pleasantries have been exchanged right now Enyimba placed a tent on the table with 19 points and shooting stars are just one place above Enyimba or behind Enyimba rather if you want to put it that way 11th position and 19th uh, position oh yes 11th position beg your pardon with 19 points so the two teams have uh, 19 points apiece and the just go different separating the two teams. Uh, check out Enyimba's uh, starting lineup for today. And you see Sibi Gua in jersey number 15. He has scored uh, four goals in the last four matches, especially the hat trick he scored against the Cano Pillars. And of course, uh, you've got Paul Godwin in goal. Uh, Sam Ogbo uh, is right there. Anthony Chukuka, Bala Mohamed Doji, Chinedu is the, co is the captain of the side. Emmanuel Anyangu from our junior international. And Madabuchi Josiah. Another former uh, international for Nigeria. It's not former. He's still doing it. Might still get call up someday. And for shooting stars, uh, you can check out uh, this controversial player in just number five, Salami. Bola Salami is his name. He has his way of losing his head whenever he plays against his former team. And today he's going to be playing against his former team, donning the white and uh, light blue uh, tug of uh, shooting stars uh, today. Or Kalawan Lider is the co uh, goalkeeper of the side. Sylvester Ibiaku is an old timer. Uh, came to this club uh, from Dolphins just last season. And uh, Mutiwa Degoke, another former Enyimba player. Chima Kass uh, brings up uh, the number of players uh, would I be doing it for shooting stars at sports club if you bat an X uh, on the 20 international and of course uh, Chima Kass and so the officials that uh, you overseen this match uh, today already having a toss of coin uh, with shooting stars uh, winning the toss of coin you've got uh, Peter Shi as the center referee uh, to be assisted by Zuberu Saini and Anthony Bileka uh, these are the two assistants uh, for today Two captains uh, will uh, go for photo group photograph uh, with the officials. As one of the assistant officials uh, take a look at the goalpost to make sure that there are no holes in it. The coach of Enyimba, Salisu Yusuf, for a couple of other clubs, and uh, is the coach of uh, Enyimba International today. We're joining me on commentary here this afternoon as uh, Hakim Busari, the coach that was just confirmed as a substantive coach of uh, shooting stars uh, just uh, uh, during the week that has gone on by. It's right there, and they'll be hoping for the better. Kalechi, how are you doing? I'm doing good and looking forward to an excellent game of football here. Uh, maybe shooting stars can do what no team has done so far this season. After seven matches played at this ground, despite two draws, Enyimba is yet to play a game here without keeping a clean sheet. So can shooting stars become the first team in the Premier League this season to score a goal at uh, this Enyimba stadium? We'll wait and see. They do have uh, uh, the man who can cause Enyimba a whole lot of pain. Bola Salami, the man who spent one season here last year, he is the top scorer for shooting stars with four goals and starts today against his former club. And he knows that this man, Paul Godwin, inside out. So all eyes on the center referee Shinyi to get this proceedings on the way in the city of Abba, Enyimba International, hosting shooting stars sports club of Ibadan. Here in the city of Abba. It's never been easy for shooting stars whenever they come calling here. Past couple of seasons, uh, although always a lean score line, always 1 0 in the past uh, three seasons or so that they have come here. In fact, uh, all the games Enyuba has won here have ended 1 0 in favor of the People's Elephant. Uh, there has been no away wins between these two sides since uh, the Premier League was launched in 2005. That's uh, what both teams will try to change today Nimba maybe trying to knock in uh, more than a goal today to win and shooting stars trying to score their first goal here in four visits so call to duty there is uh, 
Lady Okala won as well in the game. Anthony Chukuk has a free kick uh, uh, that gave him some uh, problems. Had to catch it twice. Uh, Raf, I want to talk about Anthony uh, Chukuka. That's a new boy on the block uh, for Enyimba. Uh, he plays uh, from the left back position and has been a revelation so far this season. Want to watch out for certainly uh, by the national youth team coaches. And just in case you missed the starting line of the two teams, uh, check it out at the bottom of your screen. I've been scrolling there for you to see. That's the man we just talked about, Chukuka. Being by a very solid side at home, but uh, not a team that uh, although kept clean slate in all the matches they've played here, but then they've dropped uh, four points on this pitch uh, so far this season. Of course, uh, those draws coming against Quarry United and Worry Wolves at this ground, they have managed to win five games, four of them by a score of 2-0. The two draws have finished their goalless as well. So shooting stars trying to score a goal here against the People's Elephants for the first time this season. They'll become the first club if they manage to achieve that feat. We'll see how far they can go in trying to achieve that feat and scoring a goal here in our back. Since the year 2000, uh, the past uh, two seasons have been uh, the longest Enyimba has gone without winning the Nigeria Premier League title. Normally, uh, if they manage to miss out on the second season, the third season, they will win. They are heavy favorites to win this season, but unfortunately, their form in the first uh, 13 weeks of the season have left a lot to be desired. That's uh, what uh, we've been told they intend to change beginning from this game. But shooting stars are telling themselves are no strangers to winning titles and they are no strangers to getting things away from home. I saw you find there. Uh, this is a man that played for Left in Yimba uh, the middle of last season, went to Rangers International and of course after the end of the season he went to Israel. Uh, quite a good trip for him, came back and uh, rejoined Enyimba. Enyimba has had the upper hand so far in the exchanges, Chukuka has the ball. Had a good move coming from Nzube. And uh, it's a slippery ground at Enyimba. Poor control. From Adabuchi. He probably wasn't expecting that pitch of a cross to arrive to him with air cast of space. But here, very good endeavor by Nzuba and Azemba. He put that cross to the back post where that uh, man uh, was waiting. CB, why he's the club's top scorer, but he couldn't make a good connection. And so the corner kick comes in and uh, clearance uh, from uh, Shitting Stars uh, fighting very hard. It's a very wet ground we have here and so you might have uh, some slippery plays uh, from the players uh, falling here and there. Shitting Stars fighting very hard uh, to clear the ball off uh, their side. Finally done that. I think both back fours will have to be extremely careful about slipping on this tough uh, because through balls here today might uh, be uh, very, very deadly for them. If you make a last ditch challenge and you're not sure and the slippery surface takes your boot off, you might just uh, leave your opposing striker with a free run on goal. They have to be very, very careful indeed. No one has slipped us yet, uh, but the signs are that uh, that is a very, very real possibility. Chukuka. Uh, misplaced uh, his pass, but he gets it a uh, uh, second time. Anyamu locates uh, his man, Okoyo. Uh, the man that came from Warri Wolves at the end of the season just uh, I could not make a proper pass, and so the ball goes across the line for a goal kick. Hello, Okoyo. Uh, on the fringes at Wari Wolves, uh, he's managed to get himself into the starting 11 here at Enyimba. A couple of goals already from him uh, this season. Uh, he really will be delighted uh, having uh, a run out here for the two time African champions. He was not on when war, when uh, Enyimba lost a 1 0 to Aqua United at the midweek. So it makes a return to the side and. Uh, Coach must have seen a good play from him, and uh, for, for the fact that these teams uh, play midweek and weekends, 
uh, you've seen so many uh, rotational player uh, positioning of uh, players in different clubs most of the clubs and one man who really is missing uh, this time on the shooting stars uh, the squad list uh, today is their second top scorer Tony Ejoma Rewe who we've been told has been dropped and that's uh, because uh, well, from what I gathered I did see that there's a touch of indiscipline uh, leading to why Tony Ejoma Rewe was uh, dropped but the team's second uh, top scorer this season is on the bench and that's uh, Moses Ogaga the man bought last season from Jigawa Golden Stars but this is uh, an early attempt at incursion I did tell you about two balls here well if uh, people are not sleeping danger could just arise Lady Okanla one in a world of his own no tests yet for these two goalkeepers no test yet and that tells you that uh, there's been no shot on target Imbas Mohammed decides to go back to Anyangu and Chukuka. And of course, a dummy sold there and Eimba Nzube. A miss kick coming from Ede. And Eimba has a chance for a shot. The shot was taken all the same, but uh, just went over the top, clearly off target. That's a good attempt by Enyimba. Just what the players just managing to prevent themselves. Digging with his thoughts. Uh, the man trying to take that shot first time was Ifan Yede. He made a total miscue of it, but he managed to dig the ball out to the edge of the penalty area. And that man, Michael Okoye, was waiting, but he just couldn't get his shot under the crossbar. But good attempt, nevertheless. Encouragement for the home side. So Enyimba having the upper hand in these early stages and becoming more and more dangerous. Is it eight minutes of play? Anthony Chukuka just uh, putting that ball into touch for throwing to shooting star Sports Club of Ibadan. One of the more illustrious uh, club sides in the country. One of the traditional sides in the Nigeria League. Chest for the ball from Ifanye there. Put into touch there by uh, skipper of shooting stars, Yomiya Digu. Well, these two teams, they do have similar history about them. While Nyimba is the only Nigerian side to have won the Cup Champions League on two occasions, Shooting Stars is the only Nigerian side that have won two different uh, Cup competitions for Nigeria, winning the 1976 African Cup Winners' Cup and the 1992 the inaugural edition of the Cup Cup. They've also reached the final of the Champions League on two occasions. Both sides, they lost to Zamalek of uh, Egypt. So these two teams with a rich history amongst them, but both in the last two seasons, they've struggled to make a major impression in the top half of the table free kick to Enyimba Chima Kass gave away that free kick Ifanye De left the ball for Nzube Madu Abuchi Enyimba in the 18 shot for a penalty referee says no way but I quite agree with him Okoyo was looking for that, but of course he went down far too easily. And uh, referee Peter Shini from the Federal Capital Territory was going to have none of that. Outside pressure of play against uh, Josiah Maduabuchi. Josiah, one of the more experienced uh, players. Uh, so many controversies about him at the end of last season when he left for Rangers International, but Rangers could not complete his uh, movement. And so he had to retrace his uh, footsteps back to Enyimba. Kick to Eimba and uh, Chukuka takes that one. Action at the far side, Sam Ogo. One of the new names uh, in Eimba as a lineup. Actually, gotten from a wiki tourist. Eimba, a shot from afar, uh, found wanting. One of the man Enyimba is relying on this season you wouldn't uh, know it by looking at uh, the way he's built CB Wa when Rooney look alike in terms of build he was the lead top scorer last season when he was turning out for Niger Tornado with 16 goals he has bagged up five already 
in uh, the first 14 games for Inyimba. And Shirin Stars are trying to give uh, their own as much as they have taken. Good play from Shirin Stars. A break coming in. Miscued a shot there. And you can see the reaction from uh, the young man. <laughs> uh, Rob, uh, that was, uh, th this should be the best passage of play we've seen this season. Although we are seeing uh, the final third part of it, but it was a very uh, good uh, attempt indeed by shooting stars. Uh, it shouldn't look so distraught. Uh, they will just send 11 minutes uh, into the 12 minute gone here, and uh, he should really have a whole lot more chance of doing that uh, in the remaining 80 minutes or thereabouts. Enyimba. One of the slippery moves that we've talked about. A player slipping here on the Enyimba. Chance for a shot. And that was a shot that was deflected into towards uh, crossing lines for a corner kick. As if I, need, uh, I think uh, he rather put his uh, foot on the, the ball because if he had struck it uh, well with his instep, uh, despite the deflection, he should have been on target at the very least. Corner kick from the far side. Enyimba, not too good a corner kick. It looks like a second corner kick. Yes, it is. From the same position, Anna Izemba Nzube takes another similar corner kick. Anna Zemba really not cut out for corner kicks. Fighting very hard. There is Chukuka who has left his position. He's in the middle of the pack right now. Salami puts his man on the run. Players sliding of all over the place. Uh, if you notice the trend of the game, both uh, sets of uh, defenders are really trying to make sure they get their footing right uh, before they make those uh, challenges. And that was a great challenge from Ogwa that time on uh, Degoke. Good try. Straight down the throat of goalkeeper Paul uh, Godwin. Paul Godwin won. Uh, very poignant picture of him I remember at the end of the 2011 uh, Nigerian FA Cup final he being in tears after the loss to the rivals Hatland of Fowere at the Teslim Balogun Stadium in Lagos but he's a very good goalkeeper I tell you and that day he was uh, really in tears uh, because he had made a lot of very good saves to deny Hatland but eventually that was not enough as the Nazi Millionaires eventually cleaned it by a goal he's really been good uh, for the people's elephants Started spreading the passes here and there, but uh, it's a new best captain, Doji. Right now, the near side here, Madu Abuchi. Doji. Look at Chukuka. And Chukuka finds his man Okoyo. Free kick, Enyimba, as an Azemba Nzube was brought down. That was actually CB Gwa that uh, was uh, brought down for that uh, free kick that will go this side of Enyimba International. One of the training grounds uh, plot uh, of players in terms of free kick. Let's see what the Yimba has been training. What's it been like at the training ground? Three players there. Mapping out the strategy on how to hit this free kick. But behind the ball really is Michael Okoyo. Also there is uh, Mohamed Bala. Very poor plan. Uh, and the last, uh, last shot from Sibi Gua was really, really way, way off target. And that's a surprising tactic uh, for Enyimba to use uh, because there were a cast of space uh, between the wall and uh, CB where I thought that ball would have been played forward to bring him a lot closer to stri within striking range. Uh, but as it was, it was very far indeed that he decided to throw the ball inevitably meters wide of target. Sibigua was last uh, season's uh, top scorer with 17 goals.
whether you did it for Niger Tornadoes. Uh, this season he came in late in scoring, but he has already notched a four. We talked about a hat trick he scored against Canopilas. Very, very brutal challenge from Chinedu Dodgy on his ex teammate Bola Hosalami. You can see it here. That's a double footed challenge. That should have been a, uh, I mean, it, it could have been a leg breaker. If uh, you don't punish him at all, at the very least, you give him a yellow card. I think uh, the referee has to clamp down on that earlier on in this game. That would have been a leg breaker if contact had been made. It's free kick to Indian International midway into their own half. Gulaho Salami <laughs> gets in, in a tangle with Michael Okoyo and coming worse off. Sibigua crosses, nobody at all there. And uh, a goalkeeper had an easy catcher for off the header of defender Biaku. Bolao Salami. Defensive work. I Sam Ogwa. Ogwa has been a good addition uh, to that uh, right side defense of Enyimba. I think okay, throwing. Salami fighting very hard. They know him, they know what he's capable of doing, and so they are not giving him any inch of a space to operate. You always have uh, uh, two players on him. Well, he really gave uh, Dodgy a run around there, uh, but uh, look at what Dodgy does here. That's uh, absolutely stupid coming from a captain, and uh, I, I think uh, he's getting away with a whole lot of uh, niggly uh, little uh, things here. Really crunchy battle between these two sides. And the shooting stars, Ibrahim. Okoyo. The player going down on the side of uh, shooting stars. Another tangle again involving Michael Okoyo and Osagona Igodaro. Igodaro did go down, he's back on his feet. He got that row, it was uh, who scored the second goal uh, just uh, four days ago when Shooting Stars defeated Nasarawa United by two goals to nil at the Lekon Salami Stadium. The man who notched uh, the first goal, Ibrahim Adewale, is also on the starting list uh, for the uh, Shooting Stars side. And the shooting stars, Egbola Salami brought down, free kick. The referee says, uh, play on. Enyimba trying to attack again. He finds a dead look at this man. Uh, diving header takes the ball out. Mohamed. Udoji. Back to Mohammed. Who's trying to look at Ogwa at the far side? It does look at him. Who keeps the ball in? Left footed cross, a decent ball in. Go keep at this with it very well. And danger still locking there. Okoyo. A chance for him, but uh, nobody at all. Good cross it that came from Michael Okoyo. But nobody at all. And here comes a break from a shooting stars, a shot from afar. Good goalkeeping. It was a very interesting shocker from Osaguna Igodaru. The man that has uh, gotten three goals uh, so far. Or two goals so far this season. 
Igodaro was, of course, one of the standout performers for Shooting Stars last season. This season, he's really played a whole lot more from the bench. But last week, just four days ago, he came off the bench and managed to get himself on the score sheet. So I think he's earned himself uh, a starting share today, and he's trying to make even a better impression. Uh, that shot that time registering on target, but good catch then from Paul Godwin. Shooting stars in their own half, take the ball out. Mohammed for Inyimba. A chance for to cross from Mohammed. It does cross a decent ball in another header. And of course, a timely clearance there from Yomi Adigu. A free kick. I, I, I don't know why. I, I think uh, Chinedu Dodgy has been told uh, to sort of marry Bola Hosalami today. They know he is the danger man for shooting stars. He's the club's top scorer with four goals this season. He played the whole of last season here uh, in Aba for Enyimba, but I think uh, he's getting too much of um, a harsh treatment from Chinedu Dodgy. And uh, well, maybe the ref needs to look at that situation again. Uh, that's the third time, really. Uh, Possibly bookable offenses uh, have been uh, committed against uh, Bulahan Salami. Uh, Chukuka decides to go back to his goalkeeper Godwin. Really end to end uh, play from the two sides. Shooting start stringing passes together. Cross into Yimba's half. A cross field pass. Timely clearance there from Udoji. Here comes Yimba. Uh, moving very strongly. Nzube. Nzube still moving. Sibigua crosses. Uh, nobody at all. Uh, straight to the hands of goalkeeper. Lide Okalawa. Okalawa is in his third season for Shooting Stars and Sports Club. Ex Junior International, too. Again. It's Bola Hosalami who has gone down. And uh, the way he's shaking his head, I do hope he can continue. It does seem uh, he has picked up an injury from one of those uh, earlier challenges. It doesn't. This is a problem for this man, Hakim Busari, because that's his major goal threat for this season. And uh, you can see he exactly wants uh, to know what is happening. It does look like a big problem for shooting. Let's see what happened here. Again, a lunging challenge, but he manages to evade that. This was an earlier shot taken by Osagona Igodaro. And uh, no problems then for Paul Godwin. Bola Hosalami seems to have a big problem here as he is being led off the pitch. Maybe he will come back, maybe he won't. And that's a player that uh, loves uh, Italian uh, superstar Balotelli so much that uh, sometimes when he scores, uh, does show some. Uh, Inscriptions are under his uh, shirt. You can tell that he loves uh, Mario Balotelli. Giving the ball away is um, Talabi. It's still nil nil here after 25 minutes of action. Enyimba nil. Shooting stars nil, but their games are going on elsewhere in the Nigerian top flight and we have uh, one latest uh, result for you Gombe United is down at zero one at home to visiting Lobby Stars of Makari Chimobi Nwogu notching his third goal of the season for Lobby Stars Lobby themselves were beaten in midweek at home by Quara United who says that uh, competition in the Nigerian top flight is not of the highest level that's an another ex Senyimba player, Mutiu Adegoki, winner of the Champions League title here with the People's Elephants. These days, do the business for shooting stars.
And she did start a complete side of relief as they go on attacking, on counter attack.